Hello friends, welcome to Clubcraft area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful pillow cover using basket weave stitch. For this, we are using yarn, crochet hook and a cutter. For this project, I am using 5mm crochet hook. This pillow cover is done in two parts. Front part is the basket weave method and the back part is the double crochet. So to do this beautiful pillow cover, you want to know the basic stitches like chain, double crochet, front post double crochet, back post double crochet and slip stitch. So now let's see how to do this beautiful basket weave pillow cover. So we are going to do a cushion cover of length 17 inch and breadth 17 inch and we are going to use a basket weave stitch method. So now let's see how to do this basket weave stitch method. To do this basket weave stitch, the foundation chain should be multiple of 10 plus 8. So the length of the foundation chain should be the length of the cushion cover you want and, in, and the number of stitches should be multiples of 10 plus 8. Start with a slip knot. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain. We have to do till the length of the cushion cover you want. That is the number of stitches should be multiple of 10 plus 8. So for this video purpose, I will be doing a little bit for the pattern. So I will be doing 20 stitches plus 8. Multiple of 10 will be 20 and 8. 28 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This will be the multiple of 10 and then 8 stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So after doing the foundation chain, it looks like this. Next, you are going to work in the fourth chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3, 4. You are going to do a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. This is what we say it is double crochet. This chain 3 acts as the first double crochet. So next stitch you are going to do a double crochet. Next stitch double crochet. Next stitch double crochet. Next chain 1. So next you are going to do double crochet in each stitch for 4 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, chain 1, then do double crochet in each stitch for 4 stitches. So you have to follow this pattern till you reach the end that is do double crochet in each stitch for 4 stitches and chain 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, chain 1. It looks like this. After doing them it looks like this. Now you are in this last stitch. The last stitch you won't be doing chain 1. We have done 4 double crochet and we will be doing 1 more double crochet in this last stitch. So we will not be doing any chain 1. For next round do chain 1, turn your work, do a double crochet in the first stitch. First 4 stitches will be doing front post double crochet. So how to do a front post double crochet? Yarn over. Insert the hook from front to back and back to front. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from front to back and back to front. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. So this is what we say it is front post double crochet. So next stitch front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from front to back, back to front. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn from front to back, back to front. You will have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through next two loops. So this is known as front post double crochet. So next stitch, front post double crochet. And next stitch, front post double crochet. Next chain one. And next set of four double crochet, we are going to do back post double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook from back to front and front to back. 
yarn over pull the hook and the yarn from back to front front to back you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops you'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through next two loops this is known as back post double crochet next stitch back post double crochet yarn over insert the hook from back to front front to back yarn over pull the hook and the yarn from back to front front to back you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through first two loops you'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through next two loops this is known as back post double crochet so next stitch back post double crochet next stitch back post double crochet it looks like this so you have to follow this pattern till you reach the end that is do chain one next set of four double crochet will be doing front post double crochet one two three four next chain one and the next four double crochet will be doing back post double crochet so alternatively we'll be doing front post and back post double crochet till you reach the end chain one so next four will be doing front post double crochet next four will be doing back post double crochet and in this last double crochet we'll be doing a double crochet after doing them it looks like this the last stitch you are going to do a double crochet next chain one turn your work do a double crochet in this first stitch so for these first four we'll be doing since these are in the front poses we'll be doing the same pose that is front pose double crochet chain one so for next four double crochet is the back post double crochet so we are also going to do back post double crochet on the four stitches two three four chain one and next four double crochet it is front post double crochet so do front post double crochet on the four stitch one two three and four next chain one so next four it is a back post so we are also going to do back post so you have to follow them till you reach the end and next four is a front post so we'll be doing front post double crochet so next four will be the back post so we'll be doing back post double crochet and at the last stitch we are going to do a double crochet on the stitch after doing them it looks like this for next round do chain one turn your work do a double crochet in the first stitch the first these four double crochets when you see it is a front post double crochet so we will do a back post double crochet on them chain one and next four is a back post double crochet so we will do front post double crochet on them so likewise we'll be doing them till you reach the end so we'll be doing front post on the back post double crochet and back post on the front post double crochet so if you see here it is a front post double crochet so we will do back post and chain one so this four double crochet is a back post double crochet so we'll be doing front post double crochet on them and chain one then these fours of front post double crochet so we'll be doing back post double crochet on them and chain one and these four are back post double crochet so we'll be doing front post double crochet on them and in the last stitch we are going to do a double crochet on the stitch after doing them it looks like this for next round do chain one turn your work do a double crochet in the first stitch so next if you see this is the back post double crochet so we will be doing back post double crochet for four stitches one two three four chain one and next if you see it is a front post double crochet so we will be doing front post double crochet on them one two three four 
chain 1. So you have to continue them till you reach the end. So if you see for next 4 double crochets a back post double crochet. So we will be doing back post double crochet. Chain 1. And next 4 double crochet is the front post double crochet. We will be doing front post double crochet and chain 1. And at the last stitch we will be doing double crochet on the stitch. So this will be the pattern which you are going to repeat till the required length of the cushion cover you want. After doing them till the required height of pillow cover it looks like this. So the, now we have completed the front part of the pillow cover. So now let's see how to do the back part. This is the back part of the pillow cover. It is just the double crochet in each stitch. So first we have to do the foundation chain till the length of the pillow cover you are doing. And then we will be working on the fourth chain from the hook and we will be doing double crochet in each stitch. Then do chain 1, turn your work and then do double crochet in each stitch till the required height of the pillow cover you want. So this is the back part of the pillow cover which we have done only using double crochet. This is the front part of the pillow cover which we have done using basket weave stitch. So now let's see how to join them together to form like a pillow cover. Take both the pieces together and insert the hook in one of the corner stitch here. Insert it in this loop. Pull through. Do chain 1. Insert the hook in the same stitch. Insert the hook in the same stitch of the other side. And you are going to do slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. And through this loop. So we will be joining them using slip stitch. So insert the hook in the next stitch. Insert the hook in the next stitch of the other side. Yarn over, pull through both the loops and through the other loop. Insert the hook in one side. Insert the hook in the other side. Yarn over, pull through both the loops and through the other loop. So it looks like this. Likewise, we will be joining all the three sides. So one side we won't be joining. We will be joining all the three sides of this pillow cover using slip stitch how we did here after joining all the three sides of this pillow cover it looks like this now we have inserted the pillow inside this pillow cover and for this fourth side so we are going to join them using a long string so, so we have inserted the string in both these sides and we'll join them using zigzag method so one end we will insert it in this other side same way the other end will be inserting in the other side. So it looks like this. Likewise, we will be joining them using zigzag method. After joining them using the zigzag method, it looks like this. Then at the end, you can make a bow. Pillow cover looks like this. If you like this video, like, share, comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. Thank you friends.